I'm Sheena and I play guitar. I'm Alex and I play drums. been on tour a whole whole lot this year it seems like um can you talk a little bit about the difference between playing like southeast asia to playing something like this to then playing fest and then you're going out on tour with kind of like spinning so you're playing a wide range of different types of shows can you talk a little bit about just the differences that you see between those shows especially southeast asia yeah that's really interesting I would we, say, yeah. we can't even start talking about southeast indonesia or southeast asia because it will take forever <laughs> to like yeah well it will just take all day to give you an idea though it's it's like it's the polar opposite of yeah. touring here. Yeah, but it's awesome. Everyone's super nice and super friendly. Right. And, I mean, people here are super nice. Well, yeah. Super friendly. But uh, the shows are just like mayhem. Really? Yeah, like in a way, like um, we just kind of just didn't know what we were doing the whole time. But, yeah. Like we had one friend who was just like just kind of guiding us by hand everywhere. So. Right. And I, I, there's a lot of bands that don't get that opportunity, and you guys are relatively new compared yeah. to a lot of bands in the scene. How'd that come about? Um, this guy Tiuku from Banda Aceh, Indonesia, it's like the most northern part of Indonesia, okay. uh, well the island of Sumatra, and it's like where the uh, tsunami hit back in 2004, okay, wow. so we saw like all like the memorials and stuff like oh that, um, but he just set up everything, he even set up like uh, Thailand and uh, Malaysia and Philippines and everywhere, oh, so wow. like it was, Very cool, he man. just had the connections to do it. And, and, he, and he's like, he's down to do other bands tours too, like he... Yeah. he he wants fans to come over. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. That's really He'll do the best he can to make it to make it work. Thanks. More basic stuff. You guys play Pittsburgh a good bit. Um, who's your favorite band from town to play with? Oh, that's hard to say. I haven't run forever from here, right? Yes. They're great. Yes. I love, yeah. Uh, uh, who else? Anti Flag. I like playing with Anti Flag. Yeah, we, we played a handful of shows with Anti Flag. Yeah. yeah. I was actually at that show with you guys in the Code Orange kit. Oh, that cool. was a nice. Yeah. That was a strange like Code Orange kits are from here too, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. That was a Adventures. Really, Adventures, yeah. yes. Cool. Okay. What was the record that you would say got you into punk rock, underground, DIY kind of music? Can you, can you answer that? I would say probably Operation Ivy. Nice. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, that was Very like cool. the first one I heard, and inside that came a little Lookout Records catalog. And from there, I would just like mail order things by description. Excellent. That's kind very, of very cool. Very cool. Out from there. Very cool. Uh, and now come the wolves from <laughs> Rancid, probably. Yeah, I think that was my first like punk okay. record. Last question, I guess. Uh, after you guys are done with this, you're going out on tour with kind of like spinning. What are your plans after that? New record or take um, time off? Probably in the fall, like start writing. I would say. Yeah, we've started writing some new stuff, doing demos and stuff, but. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess we have some time to yeah. to chill for a yeah, little while yeah. after like tour. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you guys been? How long have you been guys been out? Uh, only like eight days, I think, so far. Yeah. And then, but we're out until the end of July. Right. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then August, like, we're doing a couple. We're doing the fest. Yeah, and we're excellent. doing uh, Riot Fest in Toronto. Right. But. Um, yeah, I'm going camping when I get back. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> and then probably new album maybe next year. Yeah.